Hi, Senator Klobuchar. My name is Cynthia Bassanet, and we've met a couple of times through Daphne Zyman, firstly, and lastly, uh, during your presidential bid in Nashville. The reason why I'm sending you this video is because I believe the issues of big tech are so imperative in the intrusion on our civil rights, our human rights, and intentionally our women's rights. If I could explain, what has been going on for basically 20 years is the fact that we are using cyber warfare on women by utilizing facial recognition and fake algorithms. That's why we all look alike. Despite how we eat, where we live, what we do, everybody in the media now looks the same worldwide. I think that's kind of a problem. Forget the fact that I have no privacy and have lived like I live in the Truman Show, stuck on Groundhog Day, basically like COVID, for nearly 30 years. Because the moment I leave my house or post to social media, it is sliced and diced for the rich and famous to remain rich and famous, diverting my voice, which is Nobel nominated, for visiting refugees living in self-determination over 20 years ago. I don't think it's my job to style press secretaries, whether it be for Trump or Biden. I think that that's my intellectual property. Why am I styling the news, magazines, and your favorite celebrity and singer? I think that that should be monitored and mon mon monetized, much like we do royalties for music and residuals for commercials and acting. I think when a commercials continually uh, and um, uh, social influencers and all your favorite celebrities brands are merely going over to my social media and the issue at hand is that SAG has not kept up with the advancement of big tech. I wrote the issues with the RIAA, I brought the attention to SAG also about um, Limeware and Napster, where my song was being thought to be Marilyn Monroe, as millions and millions of people downloaded me illegally for free. Well, that was free, and they've moved along to actually capturing all of me. So when you look at Instagram, Pinterest, Snapchat, you're just looking at millions of versions that get a little cheat sheet of whatever I just wore. Now tell me that's normal. Tell me that doesn't interfere with women's rights. Tell me that doesn't aid systemic racism. Tell me that doesn't deny diversity and creativity. Tell me that when you see a celebrity's brand of clothing and it's taken from something I wore 10 years ago on the red carpet and it was used then. How do we grow when we no longer have an organic society? And big tech is making big profits by this lack of regulation. Again, I hope you appreciate my plea. Thank you for your time. I think you're doing a fantastic job. Stay strong and um, hopefully we'll meet again soon. Thank you, bye now.